Come there, bro. Let's
for the Zimbabwe Defense Forces. Our country is grateful for this cooperation and stands ready to play its part towards advancing global peace and security. In that context, a total of 36 Zimbabwe Defense Forces officers are deploying to United Nations missions while others are deployed under the auspices of the African Union. As a member of the African Union Peace and Security Council, Zimbabwe is also contributing to ongoing initiatives in the search for lasting solutions to instability, threats of terrorism, and the violent extremism on our mother African continent. In the spirit of African solutions to African problems, our country condemns wanton Western aggression and opposes the use of sanctions as a foreign policy tool under the notion mighty is right. We continue to call for a global system based on the principles of the United Nations Charter and the equality of nations and a multi-global system. My dear comrades and countrymen and women, the security of our beloved motherland Zimbabwe, as well as the unflinching patriotism, loyalty and the strategic capabilities of our security sector and the Zimbabwe Defense Forces in particular, remain the cornerstone of the persevere, preservation of our preservation of our independence, our unity, our peace, stability, and sustainable development. As Commander in Chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, I have therefore made a deliberate decision to heighten the best of the modernization and capacitation of our defense forces. A broad array of monetary and non-monetary incentives have been extended to members of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces. Additionally, the transport needs of our defense forces are being attended to following the ongoing procurement of an assortment of vehicles, including over 200 buses. The acquisition of visitor troop carrying and modern fighting vehicles, among other operational vehicles, is set to further enhance organizational mobility within the Zimbabwe Defense Forces. To improve accommodation facilities for Zimbabwe Defense Forces personnel, government is implementing various projects such as the Zivaresefa and the Kumalo housing projects. Other housing units are being constructed at Mizo and Jason Ziaba Pamoyo Air Force Base. To date, the Zorasefa housing project has 201 completed housing units and others in different stages of completion. The Mizo institutional housing project has 44 units and different studies of completion and an additional 30 units scheduled to be completed by year end. To accelerate the completion
completion of targeted units by government has contracted private companies to construct a total of 260 blocks of heads. The health needs of members of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces remain a priority area. In this regard, the completion of the Manyame Hospital is being accelerated in our quest to ensure that specialist medical services are available to our dear defense forces. As a people's force, I commend the Zimbabwe Defense Forces Health Services Department for the free health services which continue to be availed to disadvantaged communities in our motherlands. Similarly, the construction regiment is deploying artisans to various ministries and departments in infrastructure development projects. These include the construction of school blocks and the clinics within various rural communities across all our provinces. By so doing, the Zimbabwe Defense Force is leading up to our national development philosophy. Yika! Yika!
for all dependents of heroes and heroes, no one, no one, no place will be left behind. My government through the veterans of the liberation struggle act has organized the non-combatant leaders of all members and the veterans of the liberation struggle to this end. Non-combatant cadres and the war operators were successfully vetted. Earlier this morning, some of these cadres have received from me their independence medals, while others are receiving their medals at provincial centers countrywide today. In terms of the utilization of agricultural lands, my government is deeply concerned with the challenges faced by surviving dependents of heroes and heroines. I therefore direct the Ministry of Defense and Open Affairs in conjunction with the Minister of Finance, Agriculture, Fisheries, water, and rural development, consecutively to address this challenge. Land is the very source that veterans of the liberation struggle sacrifice their lives for. All those engaged in such our practices stand on and they must desist from these tendencies forthwith. In conclusion, I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude to you all, the people of Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe Defense Forces, the men and women of our forces, for your selfless service our great motherland, Zimbabwe. Today we honor and salute you, our defense forces. Thank you, thank you for coming on to your numbers, the brave people of Mugamba, the people of Zimbabwe, to come and express these commemorations. I thank you, I thank you. I wish you and your families a happy 43rd Zimbabwe National Defense Forces Celebration Day. Long live our Defense Forces. Long live our people. Over the man, being the old collaborator, that is over to Gary and uh, over to Daniel. Over to Shadrach Maposa is a non governmental together. Over to Dickinet Moyo.